All right, Unit 11, page 136. Here we go. We're going to get started. I'm going to have you guys read along. Excuse me, boys. I'm going to have you guys read along. As I, I'll start it for you, and then you're going to read the rest. We'll go over the definitions. And we still have about 20 minutes for you to start on your flashcards for tonight, and then you can start on your memory game, uh, your memory cards. And if we have time, you can even start a memory game tonight, or today, in class. All right, here we go, Unit 11. It's titled, The Babe is Here. After I read the first paragraph, I'm going to kind of go around and ask you guys to read. Thomas, make sure we're on page 136, please. Here we go. The babe is here. September 17, 1954. It says, you can hear a pin drop. It's almost a stalemate among several longtime rivals. Can Babe pull it off? She eyes the 18th hole, extends her arms for the downswing, and it's a hole in one. Babe Diedrichson Zaharias, queen of the fairway, has triumphed and the crowd goes wild. Her fans rush forward and there's confusion and havoc on the greens. Next paragraph. Uh, Gabby, can you read the paragraph, please? Poyancy. She'd keep the door a hard to return, and in return she did. Friends implored her to slow down. What did she have to prove? But Babe wasn't buying it. She won a serving women's open tournament less than a year after surgery. As she's been heard, heard to say before our tournament, the babe's here, who's coming in second. Good. Uh, next paragraph. Uh, Alani. It seems as if, as if for Arthur, Texas, Native Mildred Babe. So they're talking about all of her achievements that she's been noted as one of the greatest female athletes of all time. It says, the narrative of, babe, of Babe's life reads like something out of a Hollywood movie script, complete with brash dialogue between Babe and whoever tries to get in her way. Born in 1911 to Norwegian immigrants, she displayed exceptional physical prowess at a tender age. She excelled in baseball, swimming, diving, tennis, and bowling. Friends started, call, started calling her Babe, as in Babe Ruth, after she hit five home runs in one baseball game. She was an All-American high school basketball player. Then she became a bona fide star at the 1932 Summer Olympics. Taking home two gold medals in track and field, some say she would have won a third for the high jump, but her infamous and illegal style of diving shoulders first over the bar cost her first place. Many would have wilted under the pressure, but Babe never weakened. At this point, she could have rested on her laurels. Any of these accomplishments would have been more than adequate for the average woman or man, come to think of it. Uh, Tyler, finish off the Babe is no average woman. The babe is no average woman. She was introduced to golf in 1935, and golf has never been, been the same since then. That has never been the same since. She started winning titles in 1940, continued her, continued her unparalleled run 
and completed the Grand Slam for the Women's Golf in 1950, winning the U.S. Open Title Holders Championship and the Women's Western Open. We'd be a lot lax if we didn't mention that they would be working on her autobiography due out next year. This little girl from Port Arthur has done plenty to advance the ideals of women's sports and would be a new generation of millions. Good. So good. So right here gives you that little background. It introduces all of our new words that we're going to be covering. And a lot of them, some of them you may have heard before, but some of them are a little bit different. And a little bit different. And it brought this story of, uh, of this woman here who excelled in many different sports and kind of showed her true, you know, uh, edge that she had as a competitive athlete here. Very good. Go ahead and open up to page 138. Turn to page 138 and 139. And we'll quickly go over these, and then you guys can get started. And then you guys can get started. And what we don't get finished, you guys will be finishing tonight at home. Number one, adequate. Adequate. Uh, you're gonna, I'll read the first one, then I want you to read the word, and then tell me what the definition is. Sufficient enough. Number two, which is a jar. Maya, number two. Um, partly open. Good. Number three, Jamie. Um, what's the word? The word first. Dialogue. The conversation between two or more, more people. Good. Uh, number four, Tyler. Emblem. A symbol, sign, token. Good. Five, Jake. Gigantic. Huge, giant, magnet. Good. Six. Gabriella. Have a very great instruction, hearing, distribution, and Good. Have it. Number six. Number seven. Gabby. Sure. The floor was fireplace. The fire side as a symbol of the home. Good. Eight. Nico. Informed. Today. Ernest. Ernestly. Good. Nine. Alani. Very wicked. Disgraceful. Good. Ten. Carlos. In, innumerable. Innumerable. Good. Too many account without number. Good. Eleven. Thomas. Lax. Not strict. Careless. Lacking. Discipline. Not tense. Relax. Good. Twelve. Jocelyn. Mar. To spoil. Damage. Injury. Good. Thirteen. B and A. Misdemeanor. Good. A crime or offense that is less serious than a felony. Any minor misbehavior or misconduct. Good. 14. Maya. Well, to think about plumber to grind and rip, heat and flavor with Good. 15. Jamie. Um, narrative. A story, detail, report, having the quality or the nature of the story. Good. 16. Tyler. Overture. 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 An opening move toward negotiation or act, a proposal or offer. An intro introductory to it. An introductory, um, introductory section or part. Section or part. Good. Seventeen, Jake. Act. An agreement. Treaty. Good. Uh, Eighteen. Stalemate. A situation in which further action by either of two components is possible. Nineteen. Nineteen. Nico, we have for nineteen. Um. Vindictive. Good, towards revenge. And then number 20 is wilts. To become lit and drooping as a flower, wither to lose strength and vigor. Good. All right, what, I'm not going to have us complete choosing the right word today, but I, what I do want us to get done in here, and you can get started. We still have about, that clock's a little bit fast. We have about 10 minutes. And I want you to start on the flashcards. And what's not done from flashcards will be homework. Listen up, girls. And I also want you to work on memory cards. Once you get memory cards done, we're going to do the same as we did last unit. And if you get them done in here today, you can go ahead and start playing if you can get them done in 10 minutes. If not, you know when we get done, maybe later this week, we can get a game. The old ones you don't need anymore. Right. That's why I said afterwards on Quizlet, because I know some of, you, some of you guys have showed me, that if you do the note cards, you can go ahead and play Thomas. 
I would like that you can go ahead and play the, the memory game on Quizlet as well, but if you don't have an iPad, that's why we're making the memory cards also. Yes. Wait. Okay. I, I saw a few extra ones that we can borrow. We can borrow some. All right. Right now, Thomas. Thomas, we need to make sure that we have pen and paper out or flashcards out right now because that's what we're starting on. Yes, you can. Nico, we're getting started on either on note cards or flashcards or the memory cards right now. Yes. Not just for the school table. Hi. Uh, no, I'm just gonna make three cupcakes just for me. Thomas. And do it on paper today. If you do, I know a lot of you like to do them. Excuse me. I know a lot of you like to do the memory, or excuse me, the flashcards on your iPad. That's fine, but if you don't have an iPad today, you're going to go ahead and write them on paper, and you can transport them to your iPad. So right now, you're going to go ahead and start. We still have about eight minutes. So you're going to go ahead and start on your cards. For those of you that are, I know some of you already started after the test last time, you can go ahead and get started with the memory game. that some of you guys, have, I know even you showed me, so you have two options. You either do it on paper, and you can do it with a partner, or you're going to do it on Quizlet. Just trying to check some of it out, Jocelyn. Thank you. What's up? Remember, when you're doing it real quick, when you're doing the memory cards, same thing that we did last unit. So if you're doing